and welcome to my son Alex's bedroom. And I have been wanting to make this video for, I kid you not, about three years. <laughs> Close to the time when I started YouTube because this blue wall that you see over here, we painted when I was pregnant with my daughter Sophie. We also painted her bedroom three years ago when I was pregnant with her as well. But anyway, I actually have a whole montage of us painting this bedroom. And you can see in that video that this started out as a very ugly, horribly painted yellow room. And we decided to pick kind of a grayish color as the main color for the walls. And then we did this bright blue accent wall. I really wanted to have a bold color in my son's room. And we just loved how it turned out. So I will show you here that little montage. So here's Alex's new room that we are spending, basically Bill is spending our baby moon painting. You can see most of the walls in this house have been painted all yellow, which I'm not a huge fan of. So we're starting by just painting, repainting each bedroom at a time. So there's the before. So in this room, as you can see, the main color scheme is primary colors. So the wall is blue and we have primary color hot air balloons here and primary color bedding and rug, that kind of thing. Once I started decorating, it just kind of fell into that. Once we painted the wall blue, we just decided to go with more primary colors and kind of brown accents. So that's what I've done in here. And you can also see that we have kind of an air and space theme in here because space especially is my son's favorite thing in the whole entire world. He is obsessed with astronomy. He also loves things that fly in the air as well. That is the main theme of this room. So I will show you around all the details here and tell you where I got everything. And if any of these things are on Amazon, I will just link them down below if it's something you're interested in for your kids' room. So over here, I have this I love you to the moon and back sign. And it's made out of metal, as you can hear. And this is actually a little sign that I got off the Facebook marketplace from somebody local. They were selling it for like $5, I think. It was really inexpensive. And maybe it was $10, but it was just so, so perfect for my son because he loves astronomy, he loves the moon, he loves the stars and everything to do with outer space. And it's just a sweet, sweet sentiment. And it's from the book, Guess How Much I Love You. But these are blackout curtains. When they are closed, turn off the light here, and it is completely dark. So we love, love these blackout curtains. I got them on Amazon actually, and they were pretty reasonably priced, especially for the shorter one that doesn't go all the way to the floor. So if I can find that, I will link that on Amazon. They had all sorts of fun, bright colors. And these red ones are great because they matched our primary color theme. And here's his windows. You can see he has a nice little view of our backyard. So over here, this is an animal alphabet poster. And right by his bed, we also have the alphabet. 
The reason we have letters all over his room is that my son is actually hyperlexic, which is the opposite of dyslexic, which means he started reading at a very, very early age. Even under two years, he was obsessed with letters. And so ever since then, we have had letters in his room. And so this is one of the posters we have in here. And this was actually a poster that I had in my bedroom when I was a kid. So I really like having a little piece of my childhood in my kids' bedrooms as well. But this frame I actually got at Fred Meyer, I believe, is pretty inexpensive. It's, you know, it's plastic, it's not glass, so that makes it a lot more affordable. And then these letters over here are decals, and I found these on Amazon, and I think that they are just adorable letters. I love the font and the little pictures that go with each one. Here you can see my son's bed. And originally when he was a toddler, we had this just a mattress down on the floor before he was in a full big kid bed. He's now four and a half. So he is in his full big kid bed. Um, but that's actually why those letters are placed where they are. They actually looked a little bit better when the mattress was down on the floor, but that's okay. This isn't gonna be forever either because soon we are going to be moving our son and daughter together into this room and we're gonna be rearranging things again. Over here, this was another thing I got on Amazon, and this was also a very affordable little starlight, and you just mount it on the wall, a nice quality light for bedtime when you want the lights low and that kind of thing, and it goes with his astronomy theme because it is a star, and as you can see, he has red bedding. Red is his favorite color, which is great because that also goes with the primary color theme I have going here in his room. So this is just, I think it's a down comforter or it might be a synthetic comforter, I can't remember. Um, but it's nice and good for the winter and we have a lighter red blanket, it's like a fleece blanket that we use for him in the summer. Just to keep things simple, um, on all the kids' beds we just use white or off-white sheets because then we don't have to keep them all straight. We can get lots of them and just interchange them and it just simplifies things. And it really doesn't matter if sheets are white or off-white underneath because when the bed is made, you don't see them. And white and off-white goes with everything. Anyway, this quilt here, is a beautiful handmade quilt that a family friend of ours made for him when he was born. And it's just beautiful. I love it. And this over here is his best friend. <laughs> this is his favorite blanket. He has had this blanket since he was a little baby and he absolutely adores it. He even has a favorite corner that I'll show you guys. This corner right here, as you can see, is very, very well loved. And I have repaired this, you guys. I crochet a little bit and I have repaired this corner about mm, four, five, six times now <laughs> since he was a baby. That corner just gets loved to death. So. That's his favorite blankie that he sleeps with every night. And over here by his bed, we have his Kleenex and his little trash can. This is a trash can that I got at the dollar spot in Target. And then over here is his fan. In both of our kids' rooms, we keep fans uh, just for white noise at night. And to go with his air and space theme, we found him a little planet's night light, which is just adorable. It has these lights that change colors, which is pretty cool. And if you shake it up there, I don't know if you can see that, but it has little sparklies in it that float all around. Get those in there and then you can see all the sparklies sparkling in there. So that's a really fun nightlight. Keeps away the fear of the dark at night. And over here is his little bookshelf. And this is a bookshelf that we actually just had lying around the house. I believe I bought this a long time ago, like close to the time that Bill and I were married when I actually ran my own massage business and I had kept this small bookshelf in my massage room with all of my you know, medical references. And it matches the dark brown wood theme that we have going on in his room as well. Let me show you what's on here. One of his other obsessions is the Space Needle. We live in the greater Seattle area and he adores the Space Needle. We actually have a video of when we took him there when he was like two or something like that. It's a cute little vlog that we did. I'll link it here if you want to see it. But he loves, loves, loves the Space Needle. So he has that there on his shelf. 
This is a real meteorite. And this actually came with one of his Christmas gifts last year. Actually the moon that's on his ceiling, which I will show you in a minute, but he loves having his special real space rock in his room there. Down here, he just got this moon calendar for Christmas. This is an okay to wake alarm clock. If you guys have been parents of toddlers before, you are probably familiar with these. Um, but this is an alarm clock that uh, helps kids learn when it's okay to leave their room in the morning. And the whole thing turns green um, when it's time for them to get up in the morning. And it just signals to him that it's okay to come out now. And that has been very effective for him. And over here, the boy loves his planets. This was actually something I found at Michael's, I believe. We were looking for materials to paint his school bag at the beginning of the year, and he spotted this little kit that you paint the planets and you put this little model, model together. It's made for much older kids. It's like for eight to 10 year olds or something, but my Alex, he loves his planets and he's, he's pretty good at painting too. He painted all the base colors and I did like all the little clouds and details and kind of thing. So that's his little uh, model solar system. Over here, this is a sweet, sweet picture of my baby boy, Alex, March 12th. So he was actually four days old in that picture. Um, this is a card that my parents made for him when he turned one. So I just adore this picture and this card and I just leave it in there for him to look at whenever he wants and it shows um, him with my parents inside. So there's my dad holding him. There's my mom holding him. And it has you know, their special notes to him and how much they love him and everything. There's both my parents with Alex when he was a baby. So sweet, so sweet. He has his fidget spinner here, of course. And this here is Mandy's book. My name is Amanda and this is a book that my grandmother made for me when I was a toddler. And this has so much sentimental value. My grandmother was a domestic goddess, we like to call her that. <laughs> but she was an amazing sewer and she made this little quiet book. You guys have probably heard of quiet books, it's still a thing nowadays. I just love this. It has my grandmother's handwriting and I just feel like her spirit lives in this thing. I just, I love it. And my kids now love it as well. She was a painter as well, so she painted pictures of my parents and put them in here. It's just, there's so much love in this book. I just love it. Um, you know, it has like tactile things and little balloons with Velcro that still amazingly work. I'm learning how to do buttons, learning how to tie a shoe, and there's all sorts of little manipulatives in here. It just has like the little grocery tag things with numbers on each one. I mean, there's just so much love that was put into this thing. And I loved it when I was a kid and now my kids love it as well. And so I know that she's just shining down from heaven <laughs> and I'm sure she's just adoring that my kids adore this as well. That's a special little thing that we keep in Alex's room. Eventually we might move it to Sophie's room too so she can have a turn with it. And down here we have a bunch of books and these are always on rotation with our main stash downstairs. Um, but the kids always get one or two bedtime stories every night and so he usually picks from these. Now down here, this is Alex's domain right here. These are his toys that nobody else is allowed to touch because to him, balls are planets. He, you know, lines these up by the proper scale, by the size of the planets and everything. He just, he is so, so into astronomy and this is his realm. Like he just loves playing with his planets um, in the morning, like when he's waiting for his alarm clock to turn green. He just turns on, he's so good. He just turns on his light in the morning and he plays with his planets. So that's what these baskets are here for. And I don't even know where these baskets came from. I just found them lying around the house and I figured they were the perfect use for holding his planets on his bookshelf. So that's what those are there for. Now up here, we have Mount Rainier. And as I mentioned, we live in Washington State in the greater Seattle area. And we love, love, love our Mount Rainier. It is such a majestic, beautiful mountain. I actually have 
a vlog from when we took a trip to Mount Rainier. It was a couple summers ago and it is just so, so spectacular and awe-inspiring. Alex is really into volcanoes and mountains as well and so we just thought that that was appropriate with, you know, we have his space needle over here and we have his Mount Rainier up here. This was actually a decal that I found on Amazon as well. This is probably the thing I spent the most money on in his room because it was like $40 or something like that for this decal. It came like a little pointier up here, but Bill took an X-Acto knife and actually cut it to look exactly like Mount Rainier and even has the little Tahoma from Mount Rainier right over here. So that's pretty cool that we were able to make it. Even though it didn't come exactly that way, Bill was able to use his artistic skills and make it look just like Mount Rainier. We all love that decal. Over here we have this, I believe it's a Jack's brand bean bag, and I got this on Amazon as well. This is actually something I spent a little bit more money on as well. I think it was $100 or $150, something like that, but it has gotten a ton of use. It's been worth the purchase because this is where most of the bedtime stories and whatnot are read um, with both kids actually. So that has been a great purchase and those are just a couple of throw pillows that we had from our old couch. And to go with his air and space theme, we have hot air balloons up here and they are the primary colors. So they go with our primary color theme. And this was another thing that I actually found on Amazon. So I was really happy to find these. They're just like these little lantern style. Because they're paper, they actually are much more affordable. So my son last year thereabouts was obsessed with hot air balloons as well. So this was another one of his obsessions, which we also have a vlog about taking him to see some hot air balloons that were launching in our local area. So that was that was really fun. They're just kind of a fun way to fill this space. I love the shape of this room. And this was actually one of the rooms that really appealed to me when we first looked at this house. Um, I just love the vaulted ceiling. There's a little ledge up there that, who knows, maybe if you stick around with us on YouTube long enough, you'll be able to see this. But my husband wants to build a little fort up there for the kids once they're older, you know, and he would rail it in really well and stuff. But um, he, that's what he wants to do with that. Well, look who it is. I'm giving a tour of your room. What did I tell you about the planets? You love your planets. Up here, we have glow-in-the-dark stars and his glow-in-the-dark moon. Can you tell me about your glow-in-the-dark stars and your glow-in-the-dark moon? I see it. It's bright. Yeah. I'll throw in a video here of this in the dark. So Alex has this little remote control that actually changes the colors. Alex is going to demonstrate how this turns on for us. Whoop, there it is. This is his glowing moon. And you can change the colors on it. Can you change the colors for it? Oh, now it's green. Ooh, there it goes. Now it's blue. Ooh, that looks like the real moon, huh? Whoop, and now it's purple. Red! Oh, then it's back to red. So, these glow in the dark stars are just ones that you can get off Amazon. Yeah, so he actually, as a reward for doing various things around the house and for behavior and good behavior and that kind of thing, he gets stars on his ceiling. And we are actually making real constellations on there, which is really cool. So this is Cassiopeia. Alex, what are these two constellations up here? Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. That's right, the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. And so there's the sun, and what's that one? Mercury. What's that one? Venus. What's that one? Earth. What's that one? Mars. What's that one? Jupiter. What's that one? Saturn. What's that one? Uranus. What's that one? Neptune. Yeah, so you wanted to have your solar system of stars up there. And then down here, we have this blue rug. And I believe this was something that I found discounted at Target last year. I don't know if they still have this style at Target, but it was a very affordable rug and they happened to have it on sale when I was there last year. So that was a perfect accent to his blue wall and the primary colors we have going on in here. And over here, this is a dream catcher that I actually made when I was a little kid, when I was like seven or eight years old or something like that. And so, like I said, I like to have things from my childhood in my kids' rooms. And I just like the, the symbolism of a dream catcher. Oh, I almost forgot to show you guys this little airplane. This airplane is made entirely out of Coca-Cola cans. And this is actually something that when my grandpa was alive, um, one of his friends 
made these. Like it was his hobby in his old age. Yeah, it actually spins, so that's pretty cool. Um, but we have it hanging by a string on the ceiling, so when there are air currents in here, it just kind of floats around, so that's kind of cool. And that obviously goes with our air and space theme as well. And see, I told you this clean room would not last very long. <laughs> He's at it with his planets again. So over here is Alex's closet. And show you the inside. So this is how I have his clothes organized. I have all of his long sleeve shirts over here. Socks down there. These are swimming trunks, belts, that kind of thing. Pants, shorts and pajamas down there. And there are the short sleeve shirts hanging there and all of that up there, I just kind of keep an ongoing pile of things that he outgrows as he outgrows them. Um, I just fold them and put them up there and then once everything in that size is completely done and out of his closet, then I box all of these up and um, either sell or donate them. And so that's how I have his closet organized. It was really nice that this shelving was already in here when we moved in years ago. All of us also have these hampers in our rooms. I love them because they're really inexpensive on Amazon so you can get multiple ones um, and they fold up really easily and they're sturdy. So I really love the hampers that we have. So that is it for well, Alex's room tour. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'm so glad that I finally was able to share his bedroom with you guys because this is something that I like I said, have been literally wanting to show you guys and make a video about for three years. <laughs> so I'm so happy to finally get that done. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you guys have not subscribed already, feel free to do so and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. You can get notifications for future videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.